Hi, I'm Melissa Rivers, Kamar's mother, Cheryl Reddick, Kamar's grand. Kamar was diagnosed at 18 months old with stage 4 high risk neuroblastoma. So, his first signs and symptoms um, would be a persistent low grain fever. We went to the doctor a few times and we were told that it would have possibly been as a result of him teething. But with blood tests um, and some scans, we found out that there was a mass in his abdomen. On our way to the airport, we actually received a call from um, the Joe DiMaggio hospital saying, please, as soon as we arrive in the U.S., to come straight to the hospital, they would be expecting us. The first thing is that they were able to diagnose and say to us it was a neuroblastoma tumor and it needed to be shrunk before they could operate. They need to know what next, what to do. The most important thing was being his advocate, knowing that something was wrong with him and him being so young and not being able to express what was wrong, it was important for me to say, no, something is wrong, we need to check this again, we need to check that again. After the first few rounds of treatment, you know what he's going to experience. So on the third round, you should know this is not how he acts, something is wrong. Even now, after he's passed away, it's something that I pass on to anybody who speaks to me about childhood cancer. I would say being an advocate for a child is the most important part of the process. Mm -hmm.